So I, uh, I have an account on this website called Gab. Uh, Gab is a place like Telegram where they proudly will basically not ban someone for any reason, which is very helpful when you're uh, posting things about furries who might or might not be, uh, let's say, doing non-terms of service things. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, the thing that you get to see on Gab, which I, I've never seen anywhere else, but uh, is a strange assortment of different beliefs. You have the far, far left, you have the far, far right, and then you have somebody like me who comes in, generally speaking, pretty middle of the road, and going, <laughs> why is this here? And, and this is one of those times. So th this is a video that, as far as I can tell, is made by a literal, actual Nazi. Like, like a person who literal, literally actually believes in the, the whole, you know, Fuhrer and all of that stuff. Like, thinks Hitler is a deity or something like that. It's, it's, it's wild. So I'm going to play you this video, and, and here's how we're going to do it. Uh, here's how we're going to do it. Um, uh, let me think for one second. Here's how we're gonna do it. So let me uh, let me start OBS on the computer, on the on the computer, and then that way I'll be able to sync up the video and the audio, and I won't have to go through and edit it for 17 hours to do that. So let me just open up OBS, and then I will play it on this. I'll play it on this uh, screen here, and. Uh, then I'll, I'll easily be able to sync up the audio. So, good. Let's do it. oh, while we're here, let's record a quick, uh, let's record a quick thing for the, uh, for the podcast editor that's working for us. <clears throat> My name is Neil Fox, and I'm a deep undercover operative from 4chan. I've come to the furry and brony fandoms for over 10 years, but only so that I could make a documentary and expose all of their darkest secrets. This is Predators, the true crime podcast. <laughs> Doggo. Yes. Welcome, out, Detective Doggo. Out on location, out in a non non disclosed location, researching as always. Absolutely. He is a very curious puppy. Now, uh, Mr. Cake, uh, I know I know you're doing very important research in the field, but do you have a few minutes to listen to what I think may be the funniest thing that I have ever seen? Okay, okay, here we go. I'm ready. It's playing now. I can't hear it. One, one second. Yes, uh, I am uh, a Nazi. Okay, he's kickboxing. Uh, oh, see, this is perfect because if I don't show if I don't show a lot of the footage, then YouTube won't take it down because it's commentary. I do not believe in any of the stuff that he's going to say, but it is very funny. Especially as audio, I find it very funny. All right, so I've put you, uh, put you next to the computer, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to watch it. I'm going to describe what happens, and uh, and the uh, the audience at home will get to see essentially uh, the the video and our and our commentary. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So it says. Uh, so he has written on a tiny, tiny twig of wood, 
uh, white men will rise again. And uh, he's left it on the side of the road where no one will ever see it. Um, I, I don't... I don't understand what this achieves. Oh, he's, he's, I, 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 I kid you not when I say this, okay? This, this is real. As far as I can tell, this is not satire. He, okay, so he bought a, a 10 cent Hitler mustache from the costume store because it looks like the cheapest nylon that I've ever seen. And he's holding it up. He's holding up the must. He's not wearing the mustache. He's holding up the mustache and smiling. Why? <laughs> uh, I'm starting to think this individual is exercising his First Amendment rights free speech, but unfortunately, he doesn't appear to be saying anything of consequence. Correct. Well, and people have the right to say things that are controversial. It's just they also have the right to be mocked for saying them. So let's continue. It says a Waffle Chaser production, so that must be the name of the channel. He's he's practicing how to tell his mom that he's a Nazi. And and by the way, uh, what's coming up will surprise you. We'll be back right after this message from our sponsor. I love it. What, who's our who's our sponsor for today, Mr. Cake? Yes, yes, we have a, a brand of tea called Delta Tea, and uh, we are working on getting permission to be able to sell uh, Delta 8 and CBD products, which are federally legal now, uh, according to a couple of separate decisions. And uh, so we're working on a way to infuse the tea bags and the tea with uh, the oil, the cannabis oil, and uh, for people to be able to enjoy a nice, relaxing cup of right now, right now our main lines are herbal teas mm -hmm. and we're looking to expand into delta products mm -hmm. uh, and where can we find these glorious tea bags of ours well for now we're just going to be selling them at the in-person events where you know we'll just have free tea for people who are there and if they want to take a tea bag home they can and uh, we'll probably do a dollar for uh, you know something like that just so that you know, we're not like, uh, we're, for a couple tea bags or something. Sure. Yeah. Something like that. So we'll, we'll figure that part out, but for now it'll be only in person, but we're going to be setting up a, sh a store for it as well. So thank you for sponsoring us ourselves. And, uh, now back to the program. When we last left the Nazi, he was practicing how to say to his mom that he was a Nazi in a very strange and sarcastic tone. Let's continue. Okay. So I I am not joking when I say that this person who almost certainly is a anti-transgender uh, believer it, it has dressed up as his own mother and use a voice changer to play the character of his mother. I see. Uh, now, coming, coming, coming to you from the field, we see a natural Nazi in a natural habitat. Yes. It uh, appears that I have styled him and he's looking at and now he's gone back to practicing his salute in the mirror. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. But yes, uh, I, here, here's what I have to add to that. Um, it's the Nazi in his natural habitat being a dumbass. Let's continue. Hey, NPR could use more bleeped words. We'll just bleep it out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's continue. The girl? No, not Yahtzee. Nazi. <laughs> oh, you mean the hot German soldiers from World War II? Yeah, them. They did wear cute uniforms. Why did the Jews? Wait, maybe he actually. 
actually is his mom. I thought it was old age makeup at first, but no, it, it maybe it is actually his mom. Is his mom a neo-Nazi as well? This, is, this, is this a family of ne- I'm learning so many horrible things today. Let's continue. Somewhere. Well, you know, it could be his mom, could be his sister, could be his wife, could be all three. Let's continue. As far as I can tell, as far as I can tell, this is a real neo-Nazi who has roped his poor mother into filming a Skype conversation with him. I, I thought it was him playing old age makeup, but it's actually, it's, it looks like it's just someone else, probably his actual mother. And she goes, in, in just the most sincere of non-actor acting, she's, Oh dear, well, uh, uh, what's a Nazi? Uh, do you mean those hot German soldiers from World War II? No, mother, that, that, mom, 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 no, 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 no. Do you, do you know any person other than a neo-Nazi who would talk about the German soldiers from World War II that way? Correct. Oh, they were I so hot. Jesus. Uh, I, I mean, so this man is a member of the National Socialist Worker Union Party? Yeah, so the, 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 U, the U.S. branch of it, yeah, from what I can tell. Uh, and so you're telling me, specifically, that workers' union still exists to this day? Well, I mean, National Socialist Party, uh, or however it's pronounced, um, National Socialist Workers Union. Okay. Uh, I mean, the thing is, is that for a lot of political parties, especially aut autocratic political parties, the name of the party doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you, you can have the democratic, quote, Republic of the Congo, and uh, it's, you know, one of the least democratic places on earth. All right. All right. Let's continue. Which, which we don't support the Democratic Republic of the Congo either. No, we are only in support of ideas that bring us closer to the Federation. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep listening to what this uh, what this weirdo has to say. Oh yes, that's right. He was being anti-Semitic. Uh, don't do that, guys. Evil isn't exclusively Jewish. Oh, yeah. Okay. His mother is definitely a neo Nazi. Got it. Okay. is this oh my god this is maybe, uh, maybe, the time maybe. how casually you're just you know walking down the street with your mom and you know you've just had a scoop of ice cream at the Baskin Robbins and you just you know bring up how terrible Jews are and how they just own everything you know you know how normal people who are not neo-nazis talk um wow <laughs> Is 
under attack. <laughs> okay. First of all, what? Second of all, where are your sources on that, sir? Let's continue. I just, I love the way he says professors. It just, it gives me, it gives me such cringe joy, I'm going to call it. Because there, there, there's, this, there's this perception in the public that fairies and bronies are cringe. And yet, my brothers, I say no, cringe culture is dead. And yet, it persists in many places online. As president of the internet, this cannot stand. Or, as president of the internet, I will make sure that all giveaways on channels that rhyme with yeast are given away to charitable causes. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> all right, are you ready? Are you ready for more? Um, are you ready for more neo-Nazi shit? So I think what I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to act like a human being, but he looks like he looks like he is an alien from Mars that has just he's he's stretched a human skin around his alien body and he's trying to speak like a human being. Now now listen to it with that in mind. Destroyed me. Okay. That's why I became a Nazi. That's why I became a Nazi! Ow! You're gonna start spray painting swastikas over the walls? <laughs> what? Why is that her question? What? Why is that her question? And then he goes, he's buying a can of spray paint. Why? Well, she said it was a bad thing to do that. Oh my god. It it literally feels like I'm watching The Room Part Two, like that 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 is how weird this is. Because here's here okay the reason why films like The Room are so popular is because to be good quote unquote good for someone to describe a film as good it needs to either be excellent on a technical level excellent on a writing level or so terrible and sincere so terrible and sincere that it's funny so the room is the perfect example of terrible but sincere and this it gives me that same joyous feeling as when i saw tommy wiseau's terrible acting for the first time it's 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 glorious to behold he's so bad it's funny yes listen listen to what comes next it's great Swastikas don't even look like swastikas. <laughs> What's happening to America? <laughs> My swastikas didn't look like swastikas. What's happening to America? <laughs> what is happening to America? I feel like we've entered an alternate dimension. <sighs> how? 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 How is this? How is this real? I, ju I just. It, mm. Okay, you have to hear more of this. Well, it, 
because it's real. Like, this is as random and weird as Family Guy, especially if you don't know what terms that this guy is using. But it's, it's surreal how completely detached from reality this is. Like, if, if, if reality was a star on the opposite side of the universe, we would be on Earth in this film. Oh, I'm gonna use metal music because it's so cool. Okay. You you have to understand how special this scene is because I literally have no idea how someone sat down at probably a computer or in, wrote in a notebook or whatever, wrote down the script for this scene before they shot it. Because we, we have continuity between the previous scene and this one, so it wasn't improvised on the spot. So we have, he goes to the, he goes to a, just a blank wall, and he spray, she, he spray paints what looks like a shotgun on the wall, okay? And he goes, my swastikas don't look like swastikas! What's happening to America? How did the Jews do this? <laughs> I'm like, so, so because you have trouble drawing a swastika, that's the Jews' fault somehow. Sure, sure. A swastika ain't difficult to draw. It's, it's I'm really... not sure how you get shotgun for swastika. I'm not sure how that works. And, and also, why would you sit down and write this as a scene? Like, why, why would you want, if, if you wanted to promote a movement, why would you be like, oh, we're so stupid, we can't even draw a swastika? <laughs> what? I, I really don't think it is. I, 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 it could be. It could be. It could be the world's greatest satire. But it is either that or someone so delusional that he thinks he sounds like a human being saying these things. I mean, it could just be a weird Mel Gibson. It, it could just wind up like a Mel Gibson movie. Mel Gibson is a weird motherfucker. It's true. All right, let's see what happens next. That looks more like a railroad crossing sign. Well, I guess it looks enough like a swastika for me to get arrested for it. What's with the swastikas anyway? Are you forgetting that I'm Jewish? <laughs> guys, 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 neo Nazis aren't bad guys. Neo Nazis aren't bad guys. See, this this neo Nazi has a Jewish friend. <laughs> Is he cool on having a black friend? Wow. You named your cat Hitler? I would, I, I, I ask you, internet, I plead with you, I beg of you, please, take that clip of, of, of this, this strange, strange little man saying, you named your cat Hitler? And, and pl please, please make it into a meme. Uh, it is, it is, it's great. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You like weird, weird, wild stuff, like conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I enjoy things that are more in the true crime genre of, of like, you know, uh, stabbings, you know, that kind of, that kind of like really wild, weird story is just a fascinating subject for, for investigation. And sometimes, you know, people will do a podcast and end up putting together enough evidence for the person to be convicted of a crime. It, no, it doesn't happen every time, but... I agree with it. Unfortunately, my version of weird is like, oh, stabbing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, people get murdered. Oh, I'm so obviously sympathetic towards this. See, and this is where we can come together in the middle, because I, I, I'm sure... I've seen it on your, your feed when you're scrolling through TikTok or YouTube or whatever, where, where it's, uh, you know, oh, you, 
certain serial killers from years past. Well, so if we fi- if we find a topic that overlaps between what I like about true crime and what you like about really weird, wild stories on the internet, I think we can have a really interesting show. Oh yeah. Something like yeah, true crime investigation. Oh, they finally found the identity of Jack the Ripper 400 years later. <laughs> Really? I, uh, to be fair, I've seen that news story a couple of times, so it could be just, you know, a, a new theory. Uh, it's a new theory, uh. but they managed to find, like, someone's cane that has a carving that resembles someone, uh, one of the prime suspects or something. Hmm. Okay. There's a whole, there's a whole rabbit, like, uh, there's, like, a whole, like, conspiracy rabbit trail. Or some shit. Well, that sounds fascinating. Oh, by the way, they found a second lead coffin in the, uh, what? say, whatever the fuck, and the Notre Dame Cathedral. Oh, jeez. I didn't know that. They found two of them. Can we please leave? Can we find the weird coffin? Can we just leave them alone? Yeah. Oh, by the way. Put it back, put it back, put it back. Put it back, put it back, put it back. That's really funny. Did they find a Nubis or some shit? They found someone. Relatively important. I'm like, put it back. Put it back, put it back, put it back. Put it back where you found it. So, uh, so I, I oh, can... I heard an interesting theory. Mm-hmm. And I don't... And this is something we could actually look up. Is old maps to pick uh, Australia... Not Australia. Africa has a giant skull. No, we can... A giant no, skull? We can, now, we can literally go back in the 18... We can go back in time in the 1800s via text, via old maps and documents, and we can see what they were talking about. Right. Because all that shit's archived. Yeah. Well, and I'm glad you brought that up because this is something that I found inspiring when I was first learning how to learn. Like, you know, when I was first learning about history and science and stuff like that. Um, to me, it's important that people... Um, the best way to put it sorry say say the thing you said again we can go back in time and look up some of these historical documents and historical records and old versions of the maps of the world from the 1800s because all that shit's archived right right yeah well and uh, how fortunate that we have these records you know it, it, these types of records are what has moved humanity forward it, it's th- this is why when we talk about you know the absolute incredible acceleration of information storage uh the, the difference between storing one megabyte on a, a hard drive to 10 megabytes on a hard drive to 100 to 1000 to 10000 to 100 you know X, X, the X. Old books, right. The old books that we can find. Mm-hmm. I would love to find an, I would love to find a topographical map from the 1800s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to be able to find some of these, uh, some of these more out there conspiracy theories about lost civilizations that sure. somehow managed to survive you know the conspiracy per the purge of our history the expunging of civilizations that no longer exist don't worry about it. Hmm. I, I want to prove and expose this information to the public me too unfortunately we'll need the power of the presidency to do it <laughs> you know That's funny. 
Oh, well, we have an answer. Um, I did a poll on Twitter that says uh, Neil Fox is the most notorious troll is option one, and if 4chan was a person is option two. Wh which do you think is better? <laughs> Yep. How long have I been interested in the world's most notorious troll? Well, see, the thing is, is that you figured out how to push people's buttons, and I learned from you some of those techniques to be able to push my push my uh, trolling to the next level. I mean, consider how far we have gotten using Alinsky's principles in only a few weeks. Maybe I was the monster all along. Oh, you've never heard of a lot. Yeah, I had never heard of it. I'd never even heard that it existed. Oh, what? <laughs> and uh, Alinsky says things like, Choose your enemy, and then attack that enemy over and over and over and over and over. Uh -huh. And what do you know? Uh -huh. And what do you know? It works really well. So uh, this, from what I understand, and we'll have to ask um, if if I end up using this section of the of the audio for the podcast, we'll just have to ask the uh, ask the radio station if we have to like bleep out the word zoo file. But I don't think we will because that's kind of like a technical uh, or like a, a medical term. For example, that's that's more the term that like a doctor would use. So I, I don't think it would have to be censored. We'll uh, cover our bases. Yeah. And we'll cover our bases, email the owner, and explain that we're working on, or, or explain what we're working on, mm -hmm. and get some insight of how to get our message across even better. Because she's an expert. She's an owner of a radio station. I would assume she's dealt with. I'm assuming in her career she's dealt with stories like this at some level or not. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, consider that he was uh, that uh, she hosted a person whose Twitter bio said the most conservative talk show in the in America or something like that, or most conservative talk show in Florida. And I was just like, yeah. you know, you have to be pretty conservative, like like bordering on neo Nazi to be that conservative so uh my guess is that they have had some controversy before now i doubt they had the the eyes of the entire internet looking at them ever before but can i want i want you i want you to imagine okay i want you to imagine a possible future which could happen in which furries are able to ban us from every platform on the internet using things like DMCA abuse, uh, report abuse, and stuff like that. But what they can't ban us from is the airwaves if the radio station doesn't pull the show. And the radio station has said very clearly that they are, they are strongly pro-First Amendment for our show. Uh, so can, can you imagine... Can you in Exactly. I like that. We, we want to get our message out, but why waste an opportunity to get experience from an expert? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. So, we'll text her, uh, not text, email. Mm -hmm. We'll email her tonight, or we can email her tonight and she'll get back to us, whatever. Yep. About technical terms that we need, about the clinical technical terms. Right, like I, like my understanding, because they, they say, you know, it, in stories on NPR, for example, they may say, like, sexual abuse, for example, because, you know, you're not talking about, you're not using that in a, a adult way. You're just describing what, you're describing the situation in clinical terms. Exactly. And we are not experts in the clinical terminology 
be for a professional set. Yeah, well, this is why we want to learn. This is a uh, this is a way for us to learn how to do this. It, how to um, it's a way for us to learn these skills. I mean, we've already gotten better at doing this since we started doing it on the radio, and uh, largely that's because uh, we got uh, just some excellent help from the radio station itself. Yeah, and our YouTube program. Um... We're up to what, four or five dollars now? <laughs> yeah, made a whole five dollars. We can go and get a four for four at McDonald's and get an entire four items. So, let's just recreate the circumstances that we did to get the, what, hundreds of thousands of views mm -hmm. that we were getting before. Yep. Let's just do that again. Absolutely, absolutely. So now we can do that tonight. Yes. No, no, no. Here, here's, what, here's what we'll do, okay? So I'm going to uh, – we'll, we'll figure out a way to do it where you can do it while you're, while you're at work because this is a perfect time to just record lots and lots of audio. And we can, uh, get, we can give this stuff to the video editors who can edit it into a, uh, edit it into a video for us. So, for example, I'm, right now I'm, I'm recording both my webcam – my good mic audio and I'm recording my other screen at the same time and the reason for that is because um, then that way I can uh, I can sync up what's happening on the webcam to what's happening on the screen and make like a an actual an actual YouTube video style video <laughs> I've, I've, I've been trying to I've been trying to think of how to do it in a way that isn't super super tedious because I, I just hate it's I can do video editing I can do it but it is not fun for me um, so if I can figure out how to record it in a way that is easy for someone else to edit that is very helpful to me Correct. so I I just wanted to ask you what you think of the uh, of the names that I made up for the uh, for the episodes and uh, I'm going to read them out to you, okay? And you just give me your thoughts on, uh, on what you hear. Once you're done uh, giving your thoughts on the uh, episode names, then we will react to some memes, and we'll make a meme video that way. Okay, well, I'm going to go for a few hours. I'm going to be out front. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Love you too. If we can get our old videos re uploaded mm -hmm. and then just re advertised, yep. that will be the fastest way to get views back to the channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good so, idea. If we can focus on that tonight. Okay, can do. Okay. Thank you very much. Love you. Love you too.